Police are accused of shooting a mentally ill teenager after tasering him, saying we don't have time for this. What does that mean? Let's explore. Raw Story is reporting that a North Carolina detective is now on leave after shooting a mentally ill teen who had reportedly already been subdued by at least one tasering. A Brunswick County event report obtained by WECT indicates that there were two officers called to Boiling Springs Lakes to a home there on Sunday afternoon. One of the officers told Brunswick County dispatchers that there had been a confrontation with an 18 year old boy named Keith Vidal, but repeated several times that the situation was perfectly under control. However, 14 minutes later, another police vehicle arrives and notifies dispatchers shortly thereafter that he was forced to shoot the teen in self defense. Mark Wilsey is the teen's father, and he explained that family members called the police because they needed help with a schizophrenic episode that his mentally ill son was having. And he was, of course, completely shocked that uh, Vidal was tasered several times just to get him under control. And then he recalls that one of the police officers said just before firing at Vidal between two officers that were holding the teen down, we don't have time for this. He goes on and says there was no reason to shoot this kid. They killed my son in cold blood. We called for help and they killed my son. Now, we'll see admits that his son was holding a small screwdriver when he was shot, but he says He's a 90 pound kid. He was under control. He had been tasered and two police officers were holding him down. So I guess, Lewis, that warrants shooting him in self-defense. Yeah, every time uh, I, I hear another one of these stories, I, I just think even more that police officers in this country you shouldn't even have guns. Attorney James Payne, who is defending the police officer, Lewis, who allegedly shot Keith Vidal, says the invent investigation is going to show absolutely no wrongdoing of any kind. He says when the investigation is done and that review has been completed, everybody will conclude that the officer acted appropriately. Let's say for a second, Lewis, that the story is correct that in spite of tasering a 90 pound 18 year old kid and in spite of the two police officers holding him down, schizophrenic episode or not, these officers needed a third officer to shoot in the direction of two officers, putting them at risk in order to defend themselves from this kid. That says a lot about the incompetence of this police stuff, uh, uh, pol of this group of police officers. If the story is true, it's almost worse. I would rather believe it was one unhinged officer. Right. If these details are accurate, it does seem weird that an 18 pound, I mean, 18 year old kid weighs only 90 pounds and that uh, and that a cop shot in the direction of two other officers to hit this kid. Uh, that stuff is really out of the ordinary. But um, as far as we know that these details are accurate. And as as a, from a point of view of the other officers, right, Lewis, I realize that police officers do protect each other. But why would they even want to work with an officer who would shoot in their direction in order to defend himself from a mentally ill 90 year old who's already been tasered and is being restrained by them? 18 it's year putting, old. I'm 18 year old. What did I say? 90 year old, 90 year old, 90 pound. It seems that the officers would be worried about this guy putting their lives in danger, too. Yeah, I, we don't hear about the stories in which cops accidentally shoot other cops. But I mean, that probably happens, right? Absolutely.